Like many people I used to have a fear of roller coasters. It was mostly because of two things. One, I saw a video of someone riding one and throwing up on it and two, I am sensitive towards motion. When I was younger I hated any rides with unexpected big drops. And when I tried one roller coaster in 2019 I found it too scary for me to enjoy it. However the year before I am typing this script I started to feel a stronger urge to try to face my fear of roller coasters. Mostly because they seemed really fun to a lot of people and I didn't live near any parks with more non-coaster tame rides than intense roller coaster rides. So out of spite for my losses and to make the best out of the theme park I was currently at I decided to go on the least intense roller coaster at the park. I was very nervous walking up towards the station which thankfully didn't have a long line. I just told myself over and over that it's not that intense and it only lasts around 30 seconds so if I don't like it, it won't last too long. So I went on it and it had a lift hill which made me nervous for how the fast part of the ride was gonna make me feel but thankfully it wasn't too long and a couple seconds later the coaster started dashing along the track. And to my surprise I wasn't able to just handle it, I enjoyed it. I was laughing and saying whoa throughout those 20 seconds of speed and it was exhilarating. When the ride came to a stop I realized that I can in fact enjoy roller coasters. However despite getting over my fear of that particular coaster I knew the reason why was because it was tame and so with that knowledge I only wanted to do roller coasters that were less intense than the one that scared me in 2019. Those being ones that go less than 40 miles per hour. Don't go upside down and have small drops. And so for the next few months those were the only coasters I did. I did every roller coaster at Legoland Florida and Sesame Place since those fit the criteria. I only did three roller coasters at Dollywood those being Fire Chaser Express, Blazing Fury, and Whistle Punk Chaser. And when I went to Universal Studios Florida I only did the Gringotts coaster which to be fair is even liked by non-coaster fans or so I've heard. Things were going pretty good in terms of being entertained at theme parks especially ones with more tame rides like moderate spin rides, and of course motion simulators. But then one not so good thing started to happen, that being boredom. I was staying in one place for a few months which did have tame roller coasters and other tame rides I like but slowly over time I found myself feeling less and less thrilled on the rides. Because of this boredom and the fact that I struggle to find fun things to do at home I decided that for the sake of feeling something instead of nothing I decided to go past my limitations for roller coasters. I didn't just do the most intense coaster that was near me. That could have been way too much. I instead did two coasters that while still tame were more intense than coasters I have done beforehand. One of them was a bit too much but the other I was able to handle just fine and it felt great knowing that was the case. As time went on a pattern started to occur with me and roller coasters. My limitations were newly set up to getting over my fear of a particular roller coaster and then I would get bored and then do a more intense one. This happened with roller coasters that go upside down, ones with 100 foot drops, and ones that go more than 60 miles per hour. But then as a final test to see if I truly have gotten over my fear of roller coasters I decided to go on the roller coaster that I was near that was not only the most intense in that particular park but was considered by one Yatuba as one of the most intense roller coasters in the world. Unlike the kiddie coaster I did that started this new phase of my life I had to wait quite some time to get on this one. It did have a single rider line but despite that I had to wait an hour to get on the ride and the longer I waited the more nervous I got. One thing that kept me going however was something my brother told me is that when he waits a long time to get on the ride he has the mindset of okay I waited a long time to do this ride I am getting on it whether I like it or not and I decided to have that mindset as well. Especially because I'd rather experience something that's too intense instead of being bored. So when it was my turn to get on the vehicle I got on it in a way that might have seemed not too hesitant towards outsiders but to me I was feeling as nervous as telling a speech on stage in front of a hundred people. The ride started moving but not super fast right away. It needed to get to the launch section before it could start moving fast. I was hoping during this preparation that the ride would not be too much and then when it was time for the launch I screamed for one second but then realized I could handle it and started enjoying the ride. 
I may not be the first autistic person to get over their fear of roller coasters, but I am someone who is very glad that in just one year I went from refusing to do the least intense roller coaster of all time, to now wanting to do some of the most intense roller coasters of all time. Except for maybe a 100 mile per hour one, but a eh, there isn't a lot of those, so I am fine if I never do those. And so through a method known as desensitization I have now become what some may call a roller coaster fan, and one with autism. And for any of you with or without any sensitivity towards motion want to get over your fear of roller coasters while I could just say just get on them I know that it's not that easy. Because it requires quite some courage to go on one of these even if they are tame but just know that it is possible to get over your fear of them. I cannot 100% guarantee it but I know that unless it is dangerous you can survive trying. My advice would be to start with the least scary ones and then make your way up when bored. One method I do to determine how scary they are is speed. From my experience a 50 mile per hour coaster is most of the time less intense than a 60 mile per hour coaster and there's a chance that might be the same for you. I now like roller coasters so much that they are now my new favorite type of ride. Don't worry motion simulators. I still like you but roller coasters just give me more of the thrill I'm looking for. I am the autistic fan critic and I will see you next time.